within the protection of this clause. And that is what worries me. If anything illustrated why this amendment was needed, it was the last few exchanges in which we have a number of noble lords already suspicious that people who were reporting on a demonstration are really malevolently pretending to be reporting on a demonstration. And actually, the noble lord, Lord Hogan Howe, said that the police have said to him that there will be people who will be pretending to be reporting, and how will they know? Well, that's the difficulty. If the police start off suspicious that people who are journalists are really just pretending to be journalists in order to get away with locking on and being disruptive, we've got a problem. What this will do, and what is important to do, is to state that the legitimate pursuit of reporting on a demonstration, whatever your opinion of the demonstration, and I've heard people saying all of the people reporting on the demonstration who are not officially working for the BBC or LBC are actually demonstrators. Well, there are actually people who are opposed to, for example, Just Stop Oil, who are reporting on them because they are actually trying to get support against the demonstrators. That's what's ironic. The point is they're reporting. And in a democracy, we need to know. And one of the great things about technology is you can sometimes see and know because somebody's there reporting it or filming it. We should stick by the principle of journalistic freedom and those people who say people who are pretending to be journalists to get scotch free show how this bill is already poisoning the well and making anybody associated with a demonstration in any capacity dodgy. And what's dodgy is sort of taking that conclusion. Well May I just respond, because <clears throat> I think it misrepresented what I said. 